Spider-Man movies, all of them great in their own regards. One of the few things that helped us feel like Spider-Man when we were kids was having a Spider-Man suit. Almost made you feel like you could climb walls. In the movies, the suit is one of the most important parts of the film. Because how else would you know that this dude is this other dude? Well hello there, Spider Dash here. Today I'll give you my ranking of all the live action Spider-Man suits because you asked for it. But before starting the video, if you are enjoying my content, give me a like, be sure to click the subscribe button and leave in the comments your favorite live action Spider-Man suit for a chance to win the Spider-Man burger from 2007. Thank you so much for watching and with that out of the way, let's begin! So, in my opinion, this is the worst live action Spider-Man suit. Night Monkey or the Stealth Suit, however you want to call it. Nothing of it screams Spider-Man to me. The reason is also stupid. It was supposed to be used so people won't think that this is Spider-Man, but he still shoots webs and climbs walls. To me, this suit is the bootleg version of the symbiote suit. It was in the movie just to sell more toys. This will sound like something that a fanboy would say, but I think that it would have been awesome if instead of this suit, they'd made a reference to Spider-Man UK. But it is what it is, I guess. The vigilante suit from the amazing Spider-Man looks bad. This doesn't even look like Spider-Man. If I was being mocked and this dude came to help me, I would think that he came to help the Muggler. The only reason why I like him better than the stealth suit is because at least Peter made this suit. But it looks bad. I don't trust him and I don't like him. The black and gold suit was completely unnecessary. Literally was there, again, just to sell more toys. If Peter was wearing the upgraded suit, nothing would have changed. Also, even if I prefer this over the other suits that I previously mentioned, it still looks bad. The Amazing Spider-Man suit is an acquired taste if you like it. Things that I don't. This suit was made with the argument that they wanted to make something that a young man would make, but tell me who in the actual hell can make something that looks like this, if not a studio, or a person with a lot of experience making suits. If they wanted to make this look like something that anyone can make, he should wear something like this. This suit looks like an alien to me. I don't dislike it entirely, but it isn't one of my favorites. The upgraded suit looks great. I'm not going to deny that. But I'm not a big fan of the red and black. At least not for Peter Parker, if we are talking about Superior Spider-Man on the other hand. But I digress, some people like this suit a lot and I can see why, it's really pleasant to see. But personally, as I said, I like red and blue better. I like the Stark suit, but I don't like that it was made by Iron Man. The idea that the classic suit was made by Tony instead of Peter kinda annoys me. Also, I have the same problem with the advanced suit, the spider on the chest is really tiny. Also, I'm not a big fan of the black lines segmenting the suit. It looks kinda weird to me. But with all that, I like it nevertheless. I love the integrated suit, not because I'm the biggest fan of how it looks, but because of what it represents. No Way Home was already good. But the moment the integrated suit appears in the movie, the film gets better. Also, I don't think that the suit looks bad. It's a shame that we won't see more of it in the future movies. I like the Iron Spider a lot. I like what they did with the suit. Instead of doing something closer to the comics, they did something completely different while respecting the original source material. Maybe I dislike a bit that it is entirely CGI, and maybe it could be a bit more practical. But even then, it looks great. It was amazing seeing this suit in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. I like the human spider suit, because if you think of it, it was the first Spider-Man suit on the big screen. And I think that Peter goes through a lot of development the later period that he wears the suit. Also, I like some of the memes out there. 
The human spider would be my favorite homemade suit. If it wasn't because of... I love the homemade suit from Spider-Man Homecoming. I love that this is a suit that Peter Parker made. It looks like something that anyone could make, and in fact a lot of people have recreated this suit. You can feel the innocence in this suit, like it was made with the best of intentions by Peter Parker to fight crime. I don't know, this suit talks to me. My avatar is even mildly inspired on this suit. Also, Spider-Man Homecoming turns into a far better movie the moment this suit appears. The black suit represents so much to me. All the negative feelings of Peter Parker taking the best of him and turning him into what would be Spider-Man without Uncle Ben. What if he had a great power but not a great responsibility? And even if Spider-Man 3 is corny, I love the black suit in this movie and everything that it represents. How the suit is an addiction to Peter and how hard it is to quit it. As weird as this sounds, I think that this helped me to deal with something in real life. Also, even if it isn't comic accurate, it still looks great. Okay, any of these are great, and if you told me that any of them are the best, I wouldn't disagree. The newest Spider-Man suit is amazing, not only because it looks great, but because of the story behind it. Seeing this suit made me feel like a kid again. The last time that I left the teaser, Feeling that whimsical feeling of wanting to be a Spider-Man was with Spider-Man 3. And now I felt that again with No Way Home. Feeling like despite everything wrong in my life, I have a chance of fighting and being successful. No matter how small that chance is, I will try. This suit means that to me. I hope we see more of this suit in future movies. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit is incredible. Most people say that it is the most comic accurate suit. Honestly, it looks like the ultimate Spider-Man suit from the comics, and also it looks like the McFarlane's Spider-Man, because of how many webs the suit has. Honestly, this would be the best live action Spider-Man suit for me if it wasn't for the next one. And also because I don't think that The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is the most solid Spider-Man movie. The Raimi suit is my favorite suit because it's the one that made me love Spider-Man, the one that taught me that being able to do something doesn't give me the right to do so, that with a great power comes a great responsibility, that there's a hero in all of us that give us strength and make us honest, and that the choices are the ones who make us who we are, and we can always choose to do the right thing. It's cheesy, yes, but life is also cheesy. If it wasn't for these movies, probably I would be a different person. This suit makes me feel like anyone can be a hero. That maybe, one person can make the difference. Well, you stayed until the end. And before you leave, I want to give a shout out to some of you. A shout out to Face Brandon, Diamond Breakers, Renshi, Dark Bunny, and last but not least, Wacky Dave. If you enjoyed my video, Give me a like, be sure to click the subscribe button, and leave in the comments your favorite life action Spider-Man suit. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye!